Hey guys, I am Logan, this is The Long Drive, and I am finally back in it. Let's get at it, we're at 319 miles, yep, 318.9. We have a house up ahead, it's been a minute since I've been here, well, in The Long Drive. We've had a couple episodes of Hydro Near since then, but no Long Drive. We will get to all that and more in just a minute. Let's go ahead and check out this house we were coming up on. Want to see if there's any creeper zombies? I'm not seeing anything yet, but nothing has spawned in. So let's get just a smidge closer. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so we're going to do a drive by. There's a couple of cars in there. We're going to do a drive by to make sure there's no zombies. Let's, uh, let's look. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. I'm always terrified one is just gonna oh there he is. There he is. Wait, do we have a we can roll down the windows now. Make sure he's not coming. Can we Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So can we Can we can we can we? Can we? Where'd he go? Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Oh gosh, he's coming this way. Boom. One shot. Boom headshot. Alright. Alright, let's circle around, make sure there's no more of them. But I'm always worried that one is just gonna come, like, darting out from around the side, scare the absolute crap out of me, and y'all are gonna hear me scream like a little girl. We definitely do not want that. Okay, I think we're good. I think, I think, I think we're good. Alright. Let's go ahead and park Christine, roll our window up, and out we go. Alright, that was some spoopy stuff. That is empty. There's a bed. There's a jerry can. Don't know what's in it, though. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. There's a basket. There's a cookie. There's a leg that he was... What is happening? But he's probably munching on. Okay, don't see anything else of use right now. Let's pick the bed up, drop, pick, pick the, it was hooked on the wall, okay. There's some paint, we don't really need it though. There's a toilet, and that's about it. Oh, there's two liters of gas, we will definitely take that. I don't see anything else of use. We're just going to leave his body laying right there because he's a zombie. We will let the vultures have a snack. We're a little lower on fuel than I remember. But it's okay, we've got plenty of jerry cans of fuel. Alright, so let's get back in the car. There's another building on right up ahead. Looks like there's a ship over there. Oh, so yeah, it's uh, it's been a minute since we have been in the long drive. I was sick two weeks ago, so I didn't do anything then. Last weekend was absolutely bonkers. It was just non-stop I had no time to do anything that I wanted so it's been a minute I was able to knock out of course the hydro near in the middle of the week but I kind of wanted to stay on schedule with the long drive keep it on the weekends either Saturday or Sunday so here we are Ooh. Ooh. so if you guys are watching the hydro near series let me know what you think about it if you like it if you don't like it it obviously is a little different than this, which is more just a straight stream of consciousness. We drive, very little cuts. Only if like the doorbell rings, I have to get up for whatever reason. Or I have like a coughing fit, I'm sneezing, things like that. I don't want to be blowing your guys' eardrums out with me. Oh, there's, oh, there's a creeper. Oh, there's two creepers. There's two of them. Okay, um, okay. Then we're going to roll the window down. So we can be kind of safe in the car. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, why that was getting caught, I don't know. Oh, there's the other one. God, they're so creepy. Oh, I missed. Got him. Oh, we're out of ammo. Okay, uh, we have ammo there, so let's open that. Three, four, five, six. We're gonna close the cylinder and we are good. Doggy. Okay. 
Having two of them spawn in one house is creepy. They probably live there. Now let's hope there's not one on the other side that just comes bolting at us. I'm not seeing one though. Hopefully those two are the only two. I'm not seeing any others. Alright, I think we're good. Unless, like I said, they can spawn on the second floor, which would be terrifying. Alright, so I think we're okay. Yep, yeah, I think we're okay. If not, we're just gonna run and hope for the best. Alright, so what's in here? Anything useful? Ooh, that one kind of freaked me out, even though I knew he was there. Come on, autosave. Blech. Uh, what are you? There's some oil. I don't particularly care. Alright, your food. Let's go ahead and eat your food. There we go. So we're not hungry anymore. All that's here is a trailer. A light. A Sophia. Chair. Okay. I don't see anything of use. Alcohol, water, mix. Alright, so I don't see anything of use. So we're going to continue on. We're going to roll our window back up. There we go, and back in the car. So, yes, like I was saying, um, it's a very different series, but if you're watching it and you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. Um, obviously, it's much more edited than the long drive videos are. It's just something completely different. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Let me know. If you haven't watched it, maybe give it a try. Maybe you would like it. It's a fun game. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, uh... It's fun, it has replayability, even though the map doesn't change, which I'm very much a, ooh, a randomly generated world kind of person. So like, I love Factorio for that reason, uh, I love this game for the same reason, well that's one of the reasons I love this game of course. You never know what you're going to get, but with like, Hydraneer and Satisfactory, super fun games, really interesting, great to play. But after you've played them two, three times, it just kind of loses that spark that wants you to keep coming back and playing. I think if they changed it up, if they made it randomly generated, it would have a lot more replay value. So, like, I understand the way they've designed those two games. It's not really an option. But maybe, like, a Hydraneer 2 with random world generation or Satisfactory 2 with Random World Generation would be a lot more interesting and keep you coming back for more. The way they currently sit, they're just kind of not... I don't know, there's not a lot of replay value in my opinion. And especially with Hydra Near, the scaling is crazy. Like that first episode I put out, the whole episode, all it was was throwing dirt into a pan, brushing it. Dirt into a pan, brush it. Dirt into a pan, brush it just to get a handful of resources. By the end of the second episode, we've made hundreds of coins and are continuing to make more and more because we can start automating. And by automating, we get more resources more quickly. And it gets to the point where my main game, the last one I was playing, I have, I wanna say it's like 30 some million coins and there's really nothing left to do. I did all that on one property using a very small fraction of it. I know people talk about the starter Ember Cradle not being great, blah blah blah. You could probably make enough money just off Ember Cradle that you could do everything in the game. Easy peasy. I don't think it would be that hard. So I mean I'm sure there's something I'm missing. I don't know. It's a fun game. I highly recommend playing it if you can pick it up on sale. But like I said, Random world generation in my mind would make it a lot better. What is that up ahead? There is something up there. So if you've noticed, I'm trying to not use the zoom feature as much anymore. Mainly because... Is that a diner? I don't want you guys just seeing this the whole time. And it's kind of strange. Like, I just don't want you guys seeing that all the time. I want to have a more natural playing experience, like if we were the character. So that's kind of what I've been going for. Ooh, we need to slow down. Especially rolling up on this place without knowing if there's zombies. Alright. So let's just give it a quick drive-by, see how many there are. Okay, I'm not seeing any yet. Obviously that does not mean there's not any. I'm just not seeing... Oh, there's one. 
He saw us. He's trying to come this way. Alright, he definitely... Oh, jeez. Alright, he's down. There's something super nerve-wracking about just trying to line that shot up while they're just bolting at you full speed ahead. Alright, so maybe he was the only one that was here. Is he the only one? Oh, I saw the, uh, the ex-wife over there and that freaked me out a little bit. I thought one of them was standing there coming toward us. Alright, so he may have been the only one. Oh, there's a gas pump. Let's hope we didn't lose a headlight when I bumped into it. I don't think we did. Alright, so... I think he may have been the only one. So we are cautiously going to inch forward. Oh, autosave. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um... Now what's going to be really bad is if they decide to start letting them spawn inside of a place that you already are, that's going to be terrifying. Because, I mean, imagine we think we're alone here, we've already taken one out, and next thing you know, another one just comes charging at us that we didn't see before. I would not be a fan of that. Alright, so I think we're clear. Whew, okay, we're good, we're good. There's some alcohol... I think really what we're hoping for is just some gas. There's a little bit. Uh, we don't really need to clean anything. We don't need paint. We have food. Oh, we need to uh, we need to drink something, I believe. Yeah, we're a little thirsty. We need to use the potty as well. But I think for the most part we are okay. Let's go ahead and dump that fuel in. Okay. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to head on over inside, fill this little thing up with water, and drink it. Aside from the fact that I smacked it into the wall and we lost it. There we go. Alright, I think we're good now. Alright, we pottied. We ate. We need some water. We're going to put that right there. We're going to open that. We're going to turn that. And shh, that's filling up with water. Okay, um, not a toilet, but a lot of poo. A lot of poo in a kitchen. But, oh, and there's his dinner that he didn't get to finish. Alright, that was a little freaky. Um, do 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 the sun is starting to set. This is one of those games that's starting to get more and more freaky in the dark than it used to be. I think even on, like, Pacifist or whatever they call it, having those guys where you diesel... Having those guys just standing around in the dark while you wonder would be pretty terrifying. Peaceful, that's what it's called. Um, but yeah, I think that would be terrifying. I really don't want to see it. Alright, so we're back in the safety of Christine. She will keep us safe. The jack o' lantern heads freaked me out just a smidge, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, and we're heading back toward the road, which is right over here, right? Wait. Did I just lose the road? Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. It's too... Thought I lost it for a minute, but we are good. We are... Golden. Alright, there's a rock and we just... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're losing all kinds of stuff. Alright, um... We are missing two hubcaps, three headlights... Oh, uh, the hood, of course. Here's blood. Okay. All right, the blood's cleaned up. Eh, but it's now dark and we can't see. So I guess let's uh, let's go ahead and have us to sleep. Oh, that rock! I did not think it was going to cause that much damage. It's funny. Sometimes you slap into them, you fly a mile, nothing comes off. Another time, you slap into it. You don't go anywhere, but the entire car just falls apart. Why did you take those off? Alright, um... So there's a hubcap, we know that. And then... Okay... I saw a hood and a headlight close by. There's our hood. There's a headlight. But that... Oh, there's our other... Uh, there's a headlight, there's, okay, so I think a lot of our stuff stayed pretty close, 
which is dope. I'm super excited about that. All right, so let's go ahead and stop right here, because here's our hubcap that we lost. So we found both hubcaps. Here's a headlight. I think there's another headlight right ahead. Nope, that's a mirror, not a headlight. Dang. But still, uh, we found it. That's a plus. Okay. Which we actually need to clean that, but I'm not super concerned because, honestly, we lose these things more than we keep them on. Alright, so there should be another headlight. But if we don't find it, I'm not going to be super irritated. That's why we keep spares somewhere. That's like they always say about royals having two kids. The heir and the spare. Alright, let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? There's okay. There it is. Beep and boop and insert. Right, so I'm not seeing the other headlight. Like I said, it's fine. We can get a replacement. Not super concerned. We have three out of four. Seventy-five percent of our headlights are intact. I accept that fully. Also accept responsibility, not like I can blame it on anyone else. Boop, headlight. And... What? What the heck? Is that a bunny? Okay, I don't know what that was. Unless I'm hearing things. That was creepy. Okay, don't know what that was. Maybe I'm hearing things. But I'm getting out of here regardless. That kind of freaked me out. You guys heard that, right? It sounded like something screaming. Right? Like, it, it wasn't just me. Oh, wait, is that the headlight over there? That might be the headlight over there. Yeah, headlight. Oh, I just tried to drive over it. Boop. Okay, well, uh, we found our headlight, so we got that back. Yay. I'm super excited that we get to keep our jack-o'-lanterns. I'd be kind of sad if those were taken away from us. Alright, so we're back in the car. That's air. We got everything back. Okay, dope. Let's, nope, there we go. And Alonzi. Alright. Alright, so we're good. We're good, we're good, and boom. We are good. Nice. Alright. Back on the road again. Well, guys, uh, yeah, this has been an eventful ride already. So, uh, hmm. it could be worse. Could be better. Could be worse. But, uh, there we go. Okay. Looks like there's another building coming up already. Man, we have been lucky with the buildings today. Which is surprising. Like, this seed has really started giving us all the buildings. And is there a zombie on top? Nope, that was a cactus. But uh, we're going to skip that one. We've already stopped at a couple. We've went hardly anywhere. But yeah, starting out, I mean, if you remember, this seed was giving us nothing. Oh, don't, don't, don't. No, no, no. No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Stop. Stop it. We're not a top. Okay. Okay. Whew. Hitting those cactuses used to not be such a big deal. But it's like at some point the physics decided to just flip a giant bird to anybody that hit them. Kind of like with the uh, the rabbits of late. They've been much, much more insane. Shoo, doggy. Alright, anyway, we made it. We're good. We are set. <sighs> mm. But anyway, what I was saying... If you remember, originally this seed was not giving us buildings hardly ever. It felt like we were going almost a whole episode and seeing one building, maybe two. And now we're seeing like three or four an episode. It's really great. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It means there's a lot of stuff for us to look at. And we're not super pressed on time and distance. You know, we're just kind of, we're doing our thing. We're enjoying it. We crash when we crash. We drive when we drive we explore when we want to explore we're having us a good old time mm. so there's some new movies out that look okay um that new megan movie 
kind of looks like a modern version of Chucky. Which, I mean, sounds dope. I love the original Chucky movie. For Child's Play, it wasn't just called Chucky, of course. But, uh, loved it. Thought it was great. So, maybe Megan will be good. Want to see it. Um, House Party. The new one looks pretty funny. Also looks like it could just be really dumb. I don't know, but we'll give it a chance. And then, what's that other movie out that I want to see? Oh, uh, it's called, like, Plane. I think it's called Plane. Um, yeah, it's called Plane. It's got, uh, Gerard Butler and somebody else that looked familiar. But, Plane crashes, they gotta fight to save the crew. Apparently, they've came up with a new name for movies like that. Or, I mean, somebody has and they're trying to make it a thing. They call it Dad Movies. Which, I don't know why everything nowadays has to be Dad Rock, Dad Bod, Dad Whatever. Like, let people enjoy what they want. Sometimes I want a stupid, mindless action movie where I can just zone out and watch things get blown up and watch bad guys with guns. Sometimes that's all you want. Sometimes you want mindless horror where people get their heads chopped off running from a dude in a hockey mask. Sometimes that's what you want. I mean, yeah, other times I want a well-thought-out movie with a lot of subplots and context and thinking. You know, sometimes I want... Now... I'm going to stray a little bit here, but sometimes I want a documentary that teaches me about something. That being said, in my opinion, documentaries are not movies. There's a difference between a movie and a film. A film is something that has been recorded. Documentaries are films. They're not movies. And I also think they should have their own category when you're looking on like a streaming site or something. Like, say you go to Netflix... And you're like, show me all movies. And then half of them are documentaries. I don't agree with that. Documentaries should be in their own thing. Like, do you want movies or do you want documentaries? In my mind, they're different. I know a lot of people argue and say that they're not, and that's fine. And I love a really well-done documentary. The one on Netflix about the Fire Festival. Fascinating. Like, I had heard about it. I knew some stuff went down. It was a whole big thing. But watching that and learning about what really happened and how the whole mess came about and just the whole story was fascinating. It's just wonderful. But I don't want to be looking for a movie to watch and be trying to scroll through like horror and thrillers and stuff and be seeing Fire Festival. Which along those same lines, I don't like it when they lump thriller, horror, and sci-fi all in together. I don't know if, if I've said that before or not, but even if I have, I'm going on a rant again because it drives me nuts. Horror and thriller, I can see there being overlap because a lot of the times, like a psychological thriller does cross over into horror territory and being that it's very tense, it can be very atmospheric, and can cause a lot of dread. So I get that. That I can see as being part of a horror genre. Sci-fi... Unless it's something like Alien, you know, something along those lines that's meant to be a horror movie in space or with sci-fi themes. Sci-fi in general does not need to mix in with horror. I don't want to be scrolling through a list of horror movies and see like Friday the 13th, Blair Witch Project, The Conjuring, Star Trek. Like, one of those things is not like the others. And then, of course, when you have all the sub-genres, you have your slow burn psychological horror you have you know your bloody slasher movies exploitation films all that stuff and i think they all kind of have their own place now the one that i kind of don't really like being lumped in with horror and also it's just a lot of the stuff from that studio is a24 so like the lighthouse hereditary things like that uh, and even the witch None of those were scary to me. Like, they didn't have any horror elements. They were just slow burn psychological movies. Like, there's no... I don't know, I never felt a sense of dread. I was never scared. I never, you know, thought, oh, there's gonna be a bad guy around the corner ready to cut somebody's head off. None of... Oh, Jeebus! Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. Mmm. Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh, there was nothing I could do. Oh, that was that was so bad. Okay. Um. Mm, bah, that hurt. Okay. Oh, jeez. 
Okay. Uh, absolutely nothing could be done about that. That bus just spawned out of nowhere while we're going super fast. It looks though, I don't see any bad. I don't see any zombies. I don't see any bunnies. Alright. Um, okay. I don't know how I keep doing that. Alright, so we need to get our wheel. That was Jeebus. There was nothing could be done right there. We were going to zip right through the middle, and that bus just spawned in and said, No, sir. No, sir. Okay, that's right. They changed the physics. Alright, so we got to do that. We got to do that. I don't mind the physics changes, it makes it more realistic, but when I'm used to being able to spin things through the ground, and now I can't, it's just a little confusing. Alright, so what else is over here? Alright, so a hubcap and the door, is that all we lost? I think that's all that we lost, so let's throw that on there really fast throw this on here really fast all right and I want to get out of here because I don't know if there's any zombies on the other side all right let's get out of here um bah, okay that was and that was just no bueno and now we don't have enough spray if we get in another crash oh boy that was rough that was real rough okay well we're good though we're good. Mm. Alright. So, but yeah, like I was saying, it's just, I don't know, A24 to me isn't really horror. I, I don't know what else you would call it. Because, I mean, like, thriller, psychological stuff feels like it can go into horror. I don't feel like what I've seen with A24 really fits into that category. But it seems like people are really split on A24 stuff, either... They see A24 and they get super excited because they know they're going to get some deep, intense, slow burn movie. Or they see A24 and they groan because they know they're going to get some slow, intense movie. And I'm on the groan side. I just, I, don't, I will watch all sorts of horror. I will watch psychological thrillers. I'll watch slasher movies, B movies. It doesn't matter. I love horror. 99% of the time, I'm not going to watch an A24 movie. I didn't like The Witch. I couldn't get through Hereditary. Uh, the Lighthouse was just atrocious. I just did not like it in the slightest, which is heresy to a lot of people I know. What was the other one? Uh, Midsummer. Couldn't get through it. I just I, I don't like their stuff. I know a lot of people are like, oh, they're the cutting edge of horror. They're what's new and happening in horror. Good for them. I'm not interested. You give me a good old slasher movie any day of the week, and I'll watch it twice before watching an A24 film. That's just me. But, uh, yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at with those. But, I don't know. I've not really seen anything new of late. I watched a couple of, like, really crappy low budget horror movies whose titles I cannot say on YouTube um I mean I'm not monetized anyway so I'm gonna go ahead it is Don't Fuck in the Woods part 1 and 2 terrible terrible movies a lot of stuff in them nowhere near for children really nobody should watch them I honestly I didn't hate them they were not good by any stretch of the imagination a lot of nudity a lot of blood stuff like that terrible acting Dialogue wasn't great, but I'm a sucker for those kind of crappy movies where it's like a group of friends got together with like, you know, $5,000, they rented some decent equipment, and they set off into the woods to make a horror movie. Are they good? No. Am I going to watch them? Absolutely. And I did. I watched both of them. They, uh, they were different. The, apparently there's going to be a third one. I'll probably watch it too. Just because... Like, I really like the end credits. They kind of show bloopers and funnies and stuff like that. And even the first one, it's like, there's a lot of blood. There's a lot of nudity. That's the kind of movie we want to make. And you know, it's like, more power to you. You know, it's a small film from a small company. They don't have to worry about getting an R rating or an X rating or a PG-13. They don't have to worry about 
being sent over to China and being appropriate for the Chinese market or whether they're going to offend someone. They're making a low budget movie. They know it's not going to make a bunch of money, but they're doing it for the love of the craft. And I can appreciate that. I really like that actually, but they were not great, but I'll watch them. I will support them. I will watch the third one. Now talking about things being heresy, Yellowstone, can't get into it. Everybody loves Yellowstone. I've tried. Can't do it. Everywhere I go, all people talk about is Yellowstone. I don't get it. I don't like it. I've watched the first four or five episodes, never got into it, could never watch another episode and be okay. Just don't care. Uh, the prequels, not seen any of them. Also kind of just don't care. Um, what else is there? Uh, the prequels... I don't know if they're going to make a sequel, but everybody just goes on and on about it, and I just, I, I don't care. I've tried. I don't know, man. Now, I did finish Law & Order SVU. Every single episode up until the current season. Watched it over the last few months. Blew through all, like, 500 and some episodes. Absolutely insane, but I did it. Tapping out. The show really went downhill. The first, like, 12, 13 seasons, maybe even just, like, the first 10 were really good. Like, great SVU, and that's what I think of when I think of the show. The later seasons, 12, 13, were still good before Stabler left. Once he left, the whole thing just kind of started filling off. The new characters weren't as good. I just, I really missed that dynamic that was Benson and Stabler. It was really good. And so, with him being gone, it really just kind of started slowly descending. And then, of course, you know, they've lost all the main people at this point. It's just Ice-T and Mariska Hargitay, Hargita, whatever her name is, Benson, are the only two left. I mean, you'll get the occasional appearance from Dan Florick as, you know, Captain Kragen. And then they brought back, oh, there it comes. They brought back Benson for his own show, Benson. Stabler for his own show, Christopher Maloney. But it's just, it's not the same. And it seems like at some point, I don't know what it was. I don't know if the writing staff has changed a lot or they've said, you know, we just want a different direction. But it went from being a cop show with some legal drama where they detected, where they actually had to go and find bad guys and do detective work, to where now it's like every episode is handed to them neatly in a bow at the beginning. They talk to a few people, it goes to court, bad guy gets sent away. And it's just, it's not the same. I don't like it near as much. So I'm just, I'm tapping out, I'm probably not going to watch another episode. Ever. Maybe. Ever. If I do, it'll be the earlier seasons again. Uh, I started to watch... Uh, organized crime Stabler's new show but for some reason it's not on Hulu where SVU is it says you have to have like live TV or something to watch it which I'm not paying for so yeah not seeing it but oh well started rewatching Invader Zim watched about the first season so I'm just kind of going through it and then I'll decide what to watch next oh it's been good to get back in the drive it's been real good. It's been a minute. But guys, I think this seems like a good spot to stop. We've hit a bunch of stuff. The car is acting a little funky. What is out there on the passenger side? What is what? What is that? Oh, that's a spook house. Okay. Definitely not concerned about that. Alright, but guys, yeah, I think this is a good spot to stop. We're going to uh, we're gonna leave it here. I've enjoyed being back with you guys. I hope you enjoyed having me back. So we're going to leave it here. I'm going to say that we did okay. Um, let's see, where are we at on mileage? 3.30, or wait, 3.54. I don't remember where we started. We wrecked a lot. We stopped a lot. So who knows? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad to be back. I hope you're glad to be back with me. I'm Logan. This is The Long Drive. And as always, I will catch you next time.